Hi there. In this video, we'll be connecting up uh, an LCD display to the Arduino, and we'll play around with that if we can get it going. So your LCD display looks like this. It has a uh, it has a module on top of it, and this module uses a special kind of a chip. Let's see. It's a PCF8574 chip. And what this is is an I2C protocol chip. In other words, it takes the all the different lines, you can see that, uh, let's wait till it, uh, hopefully, there we go. So there are all of these data lines into the LCD, data 0 to 7, plus some control lines and power lines. A lot of pins, and we don't have that many pins really on the Arduino. So there have to be, has to be a way to uh, economize on pins. And one of the protocols that the Arduino system can support is called I2C, which makes use of just two of the analog pins. And uh, it's known as a one-wire system. Basically, it's uh, actually not one-wire. It's a two-wire system. Yeah. Uh, the two-wire system using uh, two analog pins. So the way we connect it up is we use uh, and use this jumper and. Uh, We will connect the red to 5 volts. Oops. And the gray to ground. And then Orange to A4 and yellow to A5. And then here I have four inputs here ground, VCC, SDA, and SCL. I'm always getting SDA and SCL mixed up, but if it's wrong, hopefully uh, we'll get it to uh, connect up properly just by switching these two. Uh, this connect connector here just turns on or off the backlight. So right now there's a jumper between these two um, these two connections here. This is a jumper. And so it's turning on the backlight, the LED backlight. Okay, so um, we've got ground is brown, VCC is red. We don't want to, oops, no, that's not correct. I had the wrong two pins. There we go. All right, so if power is on, you should see this light 
also the uh, backlight is on. Now I remove these two pins by mistake. Now I have this running before, so the program is currently loaded in the Arduino, so if I press reset, it should show us something. And uh, one other thing, there's a control here that sets the contrast. So we're going to rotate that and see if we can get, there we are. Here. So that's just pulled out of the, um, the library. This text power by EC Yuan must be the original programmer of the Hello World uh, program that we're going to load up. So we know it works. Let's uh, put it on our um, Arduino and I'll show you how to install it. So I'm opening up our Arduino. So uh, this system, this uh, LCD, to make it work, you have to load a library. You won't have the library included in your, uh, in your initial download. What you need to do is to go to the sketch menu, go to include library and manage libraries. And then you get it to do a search, um, select all, and you're going to look for all of the display libraries that are available to us. And you'll need to go down until you find Here we go. Liquid Crystal I2C. It's near the bottom. Give it time to load them all up. Uh, so we'll install. There we go. Now, we might have to restart this. We're looking for uh, no, we don't. Liquid Crystal I2C. Open Hello World. Okay, so uh, what you'll need to do, this is an incorrect uh, address. This is the I2C address. You can have, I think, 256 different devices that use the same two pins. It's a very powerful um, protocol, but uh, we're only using one device, but this one device you have to address it, and the address uh, of this particular LCD display is 3F. Uh, there's also, if, if 3F doesn't seem to work, you can also run a sketch 
um, to scan the different I2C devices that are connected to your Arduino. And in this case, uh, I'll run this first just to let you see uh, how it actually works. Um, I'll include this on the on the course website. Let me upload. Once it's finished, we'll open the serial monitor. Make sure we're using 115200 baud. And all it does is it scans the, uh, the two address pins and finds the address number 63, which is 0x3f, which is the hexadecimal um, expression. The way you express hexadecimal is with a 0x3f. So we'll close that. So we'll put 3f here. And then uh, the device that we have is a 16 character, not 20, but 16, and it's two lines. And then we will adjust the set cursor commands. The set cursor commands uh, allow you to set the cursor, the starting point of where you're going to write on the LED, at any point within the matrix of 16 across and 2 down. So I'm going to set it to uh, 0, which is farthest left, line 0. And then the next uh, line will be character 0, line 1. And we'll comment that out. And we'll put in uh, let's see if NASCAD works. Arduino NASCAD. Okay. So uh, let's see if that uploads. We'll verify it first. And we'll upload. And then we'll switch over to our camera. And there it is. I'm going to reset this, and you can see it actually right. Okay, so we've actually uh, made this made this work um, just for demonstration purposes. Let's try making it actually do something useful. Okay, so. Uh, I've got a, a working program, and uh, rather than um, uh, have you sit through a little bit of toing and froing, here's my circuit. So uh, there's a, a switch, just like we set up before. Uh, the switch has a pull down resistor, a 10k pull down resistor. The input of the switch is connected to digital pin 3, uh, sorry, digital pin 7. We haven't changed the uh, wiring of our LCD. Currently it isn't, it isn't running because there is no program that's actually loaded in yet, but we'll do this momentarily. Uh, so um, yeah, let's, let's do that now. So here's our program. Um, 
I have uh, d made a little deletion of a few lines in the setup. I've added uh, a variable to indicate which pin will be the input. It will be number seven, digital seven. And uh, I've set up that pin, uh, pin seven, as an input pin, just like we've done before. In the loop, I'm testing for the state of the input pin. If it's high, I have an if statement, an if else statement, actually. So if the pin is high, then I tell the LCD to clear. I set the cursor to 0, 0, and then I print switch on. Finally, I'll delay it by 500 milliseconds. If the pin is low, then the else command is invoked, where the same thing basically happens except that it will print switch off. So let's check and see if uh, we have our board and port set. We seem to. Let's check verify. And upload. OK, and we'll switch over to our external. So the camera is showing. Currently switch off. Let's put this back. Pressing the button on. Off. On and off. Now, because of the delay, there's a one half second delay, I can fool this. If I press it on and off uh, within a half second, it, it won't show up on the display. If I were to change the program and to use what's called an interrupt, I could make it um, work, uh, I think, probably much, um, much more efficiently. But interrupts won't happen for a few more videos. That should just about do it for our LCD tutorial. We'll see you next time.